everyone, Nick Horn here from the Hyperactive Bookworm, here to do another In the Car book review. So, today's book is The Librarian's Gargoyle by Evelyn Shine, and I've got to say, I was so excited to see a sapphic novel with gargoyles. Um, I have been writing my own gargoyle sapphic adventure for many a year. I have wrote, written several very, very bad manuscripts and um, I am looking at working towards writing, you know, one that might actually see the light of day eventually. Hopefully next year, maybe. We'll see. Um, anyway, so seeing a gargoyle book, I, I knew I had to read this book anyway. I, I knew I had to. Um, it is a cozy, sapphic mystery and there's there's a slow burn romance um there is so many mysteries well there are so many mysteries i mean it's not just the one mystery there's all these little mysteries in there as well and it pulls you in and the writing is superb now when i first started write, reading it i was like oh crap why didn't i check it's historical and historically speaking i'm not the biggest fan of historical novels um i i tend to get too distracted um during the the minutia the 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 finer details the everyday little tiny things um that i have found in a lot of historical novels but in saying that the amount of historical novels that i have read that i have loved is slowly growing and it's a little disturbing um but yes this was set in paris 1920s the setting was beautiful there was enough for me to just feel so wrapped up in this um in this world in this city in all of it um the the details were just enough without being too much so it was delicious the the setting the descriptions it was perfectly balanced with the action um i loved the main characters i thought they were absolutely fabulous and fantastic um there's a big theme on um self-discovery and this whole idea of whether or not where you start is where you end up um for me anyway i don't know if that was intentional it seemed intentional but you never know um but i took so much from it i felt very akin to viola um while situations are very different i did feel that um being the youngest of the youngest um has played into forming me um as a you know as a human and my personality and stuff and and i could relate to some of the issues she had um with being the seventh daughter of the seventh daughter and um yeah i found that very very interesting um i loved the magical system um that we have discovered in this book i i thought it was great i can't wait to actually see more of the magical work and the layers and everything in the second book um i i totally got vibes from the gargoyle um tv series that i freaking adored as a child um the animated series called funnily enough gargoyles um and it just there was this all this reminiscence and this like Ah, nostalgia wrapped up in a brand new book in a brand new world but yes I did get vibes just because of the family dynamics of um, the gargoyles we did meet there is more than just the one main character just to spoil it all for you um, it doesn't really spoil anything um, but yes the second book is from I believe one of the other main characters like one of the other gargoyles with the character we did meet as well um which is going to be fabulous that's super exciting um i also really really loved that the librarian you know the spectacles the the blonde beauty 
she wasn't the geeky innocence um i don't know the 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 virgin you know that that is often lumped with that dynamic i love that she was strong and powerful and um stubborn and you know she had her own mind and and there's just it was so good i really enjoyed it i i was I, I may have laughed a little. Um, I was like, what? They're not... Oh, that's safe. Um, further on into the book, uh, once you read it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, like I said, it was a slow burn, which was fun. There were, um, you know, hidden identities. There were so many amazing things. Um, I, I also really love Xander. They are a great character. I really hope we see more of them in the second book as well. Um, I am also very, very fond of Cassiopeia. Um, and I, I, I really want to see Cassiopeia's story. Um, yeah. So, ah, it was a great book. I highly recommend it. I recommend all the gargoyles, all the sapphic, all the love. Um, and it has totally inspired me again to get back into my own gargoyle world. Um, which, you know, I have to be fighting back at the moment because I am still writing the daycare story. Um, in fact, I've only just started writing the, the first draft of that. So, oh, too many ideas and not enough time. Um, but yes, definitely check it out. It was a great book and I am looking forward to the second one. All right. Thanks, y'all. Chimney drivers, you need to be waving, okay? Um, <clears throat> anyway, 